Sarah Bain Biotech, ticker symbol CBBT, is a company that has popped up on my radar a couple times over the last couple days. A lot of you guys have mentioned it. It is a company that I actually took notice of about two or three days ago. I started to notice some of the moves that it was making, and I could tell that a lot of upward momentum was on its way. And I did start to, you know, start to do a little bit of research, do a little bit of due diligence. And once I did start to notice that a lot of my subscribers were also requesting it, I decided that, okay, this is the time for me to make the video about it. Now, of course, you guys know that I love making videos about the content that you want to see so if you do want me to continue to keep making content about the things that you suggest keep leaving them down in the comment section below i do appreciate each and every one of you leaving me suggestions recommendations and feedback criticism everything like, like that down in the comment section really does help me out if you do find this video video valuable or entertaining you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new now i do have a big announcement i will also let you guys know that tomorrow morning my patreon will be releasing i told you guys that it would be soon i've been working super hard to get this thing fully fixed get all the little kinks and bugs out and make sure that it is just right so we can go ahead and get it launched up. I know a lot of you have messaged me about it and wanting some access to it, so I will let you know that on Friday morning at 8 a.m. I will be releasing it. I will have a video coming out tomorrow morning as well as the link. Every I'll be posting it pretty, pretty much everywhere. So definitely do and stay in touch for that. We have an amazing team of traders and investors who will be in the Discord. We will be, you know, you will have access to all of the things that I talk about, a lot of my research. You will have access to the stocks that I'm making videos about before I make them. A whole bunch of opportunity will come along with this discord so definitely do look forward to that because it will be coming soon so with that said let's go ahead and let's jump straight into this video let's check out what cerebane biotech has in store for us ticker symbol cbbt so cerebane biotech ticker symbol cbbt does trade on the otc market they're a developmental stage medical device company focused on the creation and clinical development of a minimally invasive implantable device now this device leverages the clinically observable positive impact that momentum stimulates has on cognitive function is related to dementias and in particular Alzheimer's disease so what that means is that there is some type of device that they can plant on the omentum that is going to be able to stimulate the omentum again which improves cognitive function in people with dementia but specifically Alzheimer's disease now the corporate vision is based on these positive clinical observations these impacts were so compelling they led to the use of a highly invasive surgical procedure that successfully improved brain function in virtually all of the observed patient but the risk associated with this procedure however rendered it all but obsolete in 2010 cerebane biotech licensed patent pending technology for an implantable device that stimulates the momentum and can be adjusted non-invasively to account for a range of factors including frequency strength of stimulation and location now a lot of the reason in which this company was created was because that existing therapeutics have been unable to halt disease progression or extend life in a meaningful way cerebane's novel device approach is supported by research and patient outcomes clinical evidence supports the company's working approach that momentum stimulation and improves cognitive function in patients with dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. Now, if you're unfamiliar with cognitive function, it is simply just the way that your brain works, the way that your brain processes information, and the way that you pretty much operate day in and day out. Now, it says that this is minimally invasive. It is a one-time device, uh, one device implantation that will overcome challenges associated with previous omentum, stimula uh, omentum stimulation procedures that are highly invasive. Now, this is patent pending technology with broad applicability. Now, I really do like that because even though it's patent pending, it does mean that they are already starting to make the right steps to go you know, further with this. They've went through all the process to get this thing patent ready, and they are just now waiting for that patent to be accepted, which is a good sign for this company i believe that that means that they are taking the right steps in the right direction to get where they want to be they had an idea they aligned actions with that idea and now they are reaching those milestones well, we will go over the CEO, and I'll probably talk about the CFO as well. Well, the CEO is going to be Eric Clemens. He is the president and CEO. He has a long history building and growing companies across multiple industries. Prior to assuming leadership of Sarah Bain, he served as president and chief operating officer for GTC Telecom Corp., a publicly traded Nevada corporation that operated out of Costa Mesa. This is in California, of course. Now, during his tenure, Mr. Clemens was instrumental in growing the company's annual revenues from 500000 per year to over over 17 million per year. It was Cerebane Technology, which offers a completely new way of approaching the development of an effective Alzheimer's disease treatment that captures his, captured his imagination. This triggered his move into the life sciences arena. So he does not really seemingly have 
previous you know um experience in this area with biotech but he does have a lot of business um you know overall business experience in itself growing a company from five hundred thousand dollars per year to over 17 million is no easy fret and so kudos to him on that one for sure now for whenever it comes to the cfo he was prior to joining cerebane biotech wesley tate was the owner of strategic business associates a tennessee-based consultancy offering business management and growth services to startup and early stage companies over the course of his career mr tate has held key managerial positions at both healthcare's and telecom companies. I like that. I like healthcare. This includes Chief Financial Officer for HST Global, a de development stage biotech company located in Virginia. So, yeah, he does have some other stuff at Inner Light and, uh, you know, a life science company. But this one right here is very important to me because even though he is the CFO, this means that he understands the process of working with a company that's focused around biotech. So that is super duper important as this is a biotech company so it does seem like they have two people you know their ceo and their cfo who have some very good experience in the overall business industry i'm curious and i'm assuming that they do have other people on their board and other people under them who tend to focus a little bit more on biotech and that very specific industry in which they are in but it does seem like this company has a good head on its shoulders it seemed like they have two people who know what they're doing and have been successful in the past in creating a successful business so what is their technology of course we have this device that will be planted on the omentum but but what exactly is that about? So the Omentum is a protective layer of skin that protects the abdominal organs. This device is designed to stimulate the Omentum in patients with Alzheimer's disease. Omentum stimulation has been shown to improve cognitive function in patients with dementias, including Alzheimer's disease. Now, Cerebane will evaluate the effect of Omentum stimulation at different intervals and levels of stimulation to determine the device's ability to slow, stop, or reverse the progression of Alzheimer's. That's absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if any of you have ever watch the progression of Alzheimer's, but the way in which it progresses and gets worse is actually very, very sad. It is, you know, it's very sad to see a person go through all of these different phases in which they're basically like some seemingly just growing backwards. It seems like they just it, it, day by day, it does get kind of worse. So if the fact that they can, you know, slow stop or reverse this progression would be absolutely phenomenal. And if they can get that patent approved, they will immediately, in my opinion, start to see major, major growth. Now, the good thing about this technology is that once implanted via what will probably be a same day surgery procedure patients may not have to undergo surgery again using this treatment method cerebane has a manufacturing agreement with sonas medical a trusted reliable medical device supplier so doing these surgeries will definitely shouldn't be an issue because they should have a very solid stream of this product coming in now they have gone through clinical trials and they have started to prove the evidence that this thing works and i do like the fact that they are patent pending even if they you know don't have that patent again the fact that they are still making the steps towards getting it approved does show the legitimacy of this company and i'm very excited to see the day when it comes that they do get that patent so with all that being said what is the future and what is the potential of this industry whenever it comes to this product specifically well i did go ahead and i pulled this up right here and i believe that this is super duper important right here it says what is the age of the most people with alzheimer's disease there's an estimated that 5.8 million americans of all ages are living with alzheimer's disease in 2020 5.8 million that's absolutely crazy one in 10 people age 65 and older has alzheimer's about one third of people age 85 and older have alzheimer's and of the estimated 5.8 million the people who have alzheimer's disease the vast majority of over 80 percent are age 75 and older the percentage of people with alzheimer's increases with age three percent of people age 65 through 74 17 percent of people 75 through 84 and 32 percent of people age 85 and older now this is absolutely insane that, that that is a very very large number and considering even right here if we do go up and we look a little bit in texas alone 400,000 people age 65 and older have alzheimer's disease now if this company does have the you know technology that could potentially again reverse this stop slow or reverse this progression of alzheimer's that is a very large market that i believe could have some immediate 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 effects on the overall world itself now is there more trials that are probably going to need to be done we're going to need to see that patent come out we're going to see need to see a lot of different things in order for this company to prove its legitimacy to society but i do believe that if they are capable of doing that and if they can make this come true that this could easily be one of the fastest growing biotech co technology companies that the world has ever seen and i know that sounds ambitious but you genuinely have to think about how serious alzheimer's is and how many people genuinely get it at the age of 65 and above so going into the future here what is their vision well, their vision
decision is to forge a new and more effective path toward the fight against a killer that robs every victim of past and future. Now, that is a very, very strong, you know, statement right there. I really do like the fact that they have sentiment and they have a reason as to why they're doing this. You know, we have those companies who just think, oh, this is a cool idea that everyone will like. Let's just put it out there. Boom. No, this company has the motivation and they have the drive and they have a why. And those companies that you see that have a strong why, like why are we doing this, are the ones that you will see start to work harder, that you will see start to actually put effort into all of the things that they are doing. Whenever they have little ideas that could somewhat even remotely benefit the company, they will align actions with those ideas in order to reach the goals and milestones that they are trying to reach. And I absolutely love companies that have whys like that. With that being said, let's go ahead, let's take a look at the stock price. I will let you guys know that as of now this company is looking very very appealing i think they have a lot of long-term potential and a lot of catalysts coming up especially with that patent pending technology that could really send this thing up so cerebane biotech is currently sitting at about 10 cents on the money they had a very solid day today going up about 12.13 percent but if we do go back out to the last six months we can see that this company has made some very good progress now we do see these companies that start off right here at less than a cent they tend to struggle a little bit starting to try to break through here it seemed like this company could not break past that two cent mark it was just absolutely impossible no matter how big the dip was they always recovered it no matter how big the gain was they always recovered it it was steady back down there but it does seem like as this news and as all of this information about this company did hit the market that we started to see it really grow now, I did go ahead and I'll pull up here. Now that we did look at the stock price and we did see that initial jump, I actually got quite curious about what could have caused that. And today, we are going to see what is going on. So in November, they did start to get the release of other smaller products that were going to be suitable for the conditions of the world that we were seeing. They did have a clear face mask that I've actually seen in person before, which is actually pretty cool, the fact that it is here. Now, this is actually not something that I found in my research before doing this video. So the fact that we are doing, look at us, doing our due diligence together right now. But... As we can see here that in November, the very end of November, they did announce that PKG Inc. is to become the key manufacturer for Clear Mask. Now, not only that, we could see right back over here that there is a stock merger that was announced as well. This company is going through the acquisition of PKG, which is a privately owned contract manufacturing and engineering company developing high-end medical and aerospace equipment. So this could be very, very substantial whenever it comes to the actual development of the technology in which they are creating. Now, this is a biotech company. So the fact that they are, you know, making technology, they're going to need a partner and they're going to need some type of subsidiary that is going to, you know, of course, create it, go through the engineering, go through the manufacturing and get these products out there. So with all that being said, if we do go ahead and we take a look back at the six months around this time frame right here, right around the end of December, mid-December, this was that announcement of the clear mask thing, but that didn't last very long as it honestly wasn't the biggest news. But this merger did really send this thing up on a very, very nice run right here. And I honestly do believe that we do have some more momentum coming. I think with the catalyst that could potentially be coming with, you know, the pending, the patents pending, I think as more research and more trials are done and as they do update us on, you know, future uh, products that are going to be able to come out i do think that we can see this thing really start to make a good little climb so with that being said i will let you guys know that i really do like this company i think the fact that they have such a strong why i think there is a lot of sentiment there and i do like the reason as to why they create the products they create i think going into the future their products are going to be able to change the world if they are able to reach the goals and milestones that they are shooting for and so with that being said whenever it's sitting at about 10 cents here i do think it's going to be okay to go ahead and I will start a position in this company. Now, this is not financial advice, and this is not me telling anyone to go ahead and start a position as I am not a financial advisor, I'm just a guy giving my advice, you know, my, my opinion, let's say that, my opinion on what this company is all about. Now, with that being said, if you would like to know the exact transaction details of this trade, again, do not wait, you know, don't miss out. I'm going to be opening up my Patreon tomorrow morning, and there I will be notifying everyone about the trades I make, my overall portfolio, what I'm going on, the gains, the losses, everything like that will be fully transparent in the patreon so definitely check that out if you do want to see that or you want to support me in general with that being said i hope you guys did like today's breakdown over Bane biotech ticker symbol cbbt i had a lot of fun actually researching this company it's a very fascinating and intriguing method in which they do you know try to stimulate the momentum in order to increase cognitive function it is a super duper interesting product and it is a super fascinating company and i really do appreciate you guys bringing it to my attention because i did once again enjoy looking them up with that being said i will be posting two to three times every single day and so i'll be seeing you guys soon peace